okay, take Tom Brady out of it. Who's next in line for you? You Lamar, played with the GOAT. You Lamar won the Super Jackson. Bowl with the GOAT. That's who you want to play for? Action Jackson. Let's, let's, let's give Lamar Jackson his flowers. Yeah, for sure. Why? They did not want him to win MVP. You don't know why? What do you no, mean I, why? I, you, I'm, I'm saying you, yes, you I watch games. I want game. you to say it so they can well, tell you know, the people. He just said, yes, hey, listen, I know why. shout out to Lamar Jackson, that's it. <laughs> Lamar Jackson is a great quarterback. Not only him throwing the ball, the dynamic of him playing, the excitement. Dang, A.V., you and Lamar could have been superstars. You could have been catching yards. But the NFL is not a given for you. I don't know what your next move is gonna do. Shout out to Florida, let's get it. Yeah, this feels like a dream. And you know just what I mean. You see my boy, he like gotta made it, how to made it. Boy, he's a fan, and he like the Ravens, like the Ravens. So you two, team keep it clean. What's going on? It's Engraven here with another video. And the topic of this video may have some of y'all head spinning and spinning and spinning until y'all dizzy. Maybe. But for some people, y'all might be like, mmm, the thought of it. I could just imagine. But anyway, as you heard in the clip that was just played, Antonio Brown let it be known again. Because remember, this is not the first time that this has happened. Remember a couple years ago in 2020, uh, Antonio Brown posted himself in a, in a Ravens uniform. And he flat out said it like, hey, I want to play with Lamar Jackson. He said this two years ago, and Lamar Jackson, even Mark Ingram, like leaders of the Ravens team, spoke up and said, oh, yeah, bring A.B. on. Bring him on. Oh, let's get it, man. Bring him to the Ravens. And we, of course, know it didn't happen. We never really expected it to happen. For me, I was hoping it would because y'all know it's the Florida Ravens. Some people don't like hearing that, but it's the truth. It ain't nothing but Florida on them Ravens. But anyway, um, Antonio Brown on a highly anticipated episode of I Am Athlete uh, that aired today, as of this recording, January 24th, uh, Antonio Brown, he spoke about the whole thing that went down with the Bucks and his relationship with Tom Brady and so, so much more stuff. Um, but he also talked about, uh, Brandon Marshall asked him, all right, so, so what, what you, you want to do now? Who you want to play with now? And he let it be known. And you know what? That, that wasn't even my favorite part about the interview. Uh, the part that I really appreciated the most was coming from Antonio Brown, um, that he said, he, he let it be known that let's give Lamar Jackson his flowers. Let's give him his flowers. Because I feel like oftentimes, and, and I can understand a little bit because he's been out. So he hasn't gotten to show the world like Lamar Jackson. And even throughout this season, he's been hurt all year. He's been hurt for the majority of the year, so he hasn't been himself. So some people, I think, may have forgotten exactly who Lamar Jackson is. Um, but Antonio Brown, I respected that he let the world know. He said, let's give him his flowers right here, right now. Shout out to Lamar Jackson. And shout out to you, sir, Antonio Brown, for doing that. Now, we know that this, it technically, Antonio Brown to the Ravens, is technically a possibility. And the only reason it is technically a possibility is because, number one, he's still in the NFL. Number two, he's not suspended. Number three, he's an NFL free agent. He could literally sign with any team that he wants to right here, right now. He could. But those are the reasons that it's, it's technically possible. But you know that it's not going to happen. We know that it's not going to happen. Um, now, two years ago, <laughs> oh, man, it, it, it would have been nice. And, and I, I was really hoping for it. I'm like, man, cause I, it was so many people like, oh, man, Antonio Brown, he'll be bad for the locker room, this and that. And I was just like, no, the, the Ravens will be able to hold that down. They, they, they be able to hold it down. They got enough of his people there. They got enough of just leadership there and people that would be able to. Antonio Brown would be fine. And then what happened that year in 2020? He was fine. He was just fine. You ain't hear a peep at Antonio Brown when he was with the Bucks. Went over there, did his thing, was a big contributor, scored in the Super Bowl too. He, he made it happen. And he, now he adds Super Bowl champion to his resume. And no matter what happens, no matter what he's done before, no matter what he does in the future, 
you cannot take that away from him. He has Hall of Fame numbers. Uh, he has Hall of Fame accolades. And he has now, after last year, he has literally done every single thing that a wide receiver in the NFL can do. Everything. He has led the league in catches. He has led the league in touchdowns. He's led the league in yards. He's been to the Pro Bowl. He's obviously been to the playoffs. He has Hall of Fame numbers, and he is a Super Bowl champion. That was the last thing that was on his list. Will he be in the Hall of Fame? I, I don't think so. I don't think they'll ever let him in the Hall of Fame. Numbers-wise, oh, yeah, he got that all day. But it's all the other stuff that's going to prevent him from getting there. Because something to think about. Something to think about with Antonio Brown. With T.O. Oh, boy. They like, they scratched and clawed and kicked just to make him a nominee. And he had never been uh, trouble off the field, ever. He had never been involved in anything. Not one legal issue at all. Had the Hall of Fame numbers. Had the Hall of Fame accomplishments. But just to make him a nominee, NFL was like, ah, you, ah. they want to do it. So imagine what it's going to be like for Antonio Brown. They're not even going to look his way twice as far as the Hall of Fame. Does he care about that? Hey, I have no clue. Um, but as far as him to the Ravens, it's, it's, it's just a pipe dream. That's not, it's not going to happen. We know it's not going to happen. Now, I wonder if... Um, I'm sure Lamar would be all for it. I, I, I'm, I'm sure he would. <laughs> Maybe with a different offensive coordinator, but I'm, I'm sure that he would. But um, I'm honestly not sure uh, if Antonio Brown will ever play in the NFL again. And I'm, I'm serious about that. I'm just, I, I, I said it as soon as I forgot what game it was doing. Well, week 16, so Ravens were playing the Rams, I think. I think it was during that game. And... I saw all these people in the chat talking about, did you see what happened to Antonio Brown? You see what's going on with Antonio Brown? So I checked my phone, and it's all Antonio Brown, this, Antonio Brown. And I'm like, man, what happened? So then I see the video, and I'm like, wow. He, whoa, that's, wow. Oh, boy. And to, to see him, it's, it's one thing if he decided, all right, you know what? I don't want to play anymore. Or if he requested the Bucks, hey, y'all, can y'all just please release me? Just let me go. Or, or if you told him, I, I don't want to play for you guys anymore. That would be one thing. But that way, when he did that, because that was big. Like, I, I have never seen the, the cl closest thing I've heard in terms of that. And that was only just hearing about it because we didn't see him make any on the field moves. Was um I think it was Vontae Davis, the cornerback, where he played for the Bills and he retired at halftime. Like, literally retired at halftime. They said he drove home and everything. He said, I'm done. I don't feel like it no more. I'm, I'm done. That was crazy. Like, how, like so if, if you retire after a game or something or y'all play and then throughout the week, you're like, you know what? No, nah, I'm done. That would still be crazy, but this dude retired at halftime. But, and that was the closest thing that I've said, but Antonio Brown literally during the, during the game, not even half, that's what made it even crazy. It was during the game. This dude decided, you know what? No, I'm done. I'm done. You saw Mike Evans like, no, hey, no, 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 don't do that. No, he said, no, I'm done. And we will never know what that conversation was between him and Bruce Arians. That'll be one of them things. Bruce Arians could say one thing. Antonio Brown could say another thing. And those two are the only people that'll, that'll ever know what their conversation was. Um, but he, that, when he did that, I said it. I said it right there on the stream like, oh, that, that, that's probably it for him. I just, I don't see anybody else taking a chance on Antonio Brown after that. Had he finished this season and that not happened? Okay. Oh, yeah, for sure. He'll get a chance. And, you know, like, people have gotten chances uh, after that in the NFL for doing a lot worse things, as you all know. Um, but that, with Antonio Brown, what, what works against him is that he doesn't have the, um, the benefit of the doubt. He, he doesn't have the benefit of the doubt. So anytime Antonio Brown is involved in anything, whether it be with coaches, 
whether it be with players, whether it be with this or that, people are automatically going to say, oh, no, that's, that's his character. That, that's in him. That's who he is. Because he's shown you a lot of times who he is. Can, could he have changed from who he is? Oh, yeah, it's certainly possible. But even in a situation where he may be in the right for something, he's not going to get the benefit of the, of the doubt from most people because of his past. And if you have a past with repeated performances, r repeated um, things that just kept on happening and they happened a certain way, people are going to look at you and be like, oh, mm, OK, that, that's expected of you. So it's tough for him right now. It is very tough. And some of that has been his fault. Some of it hasn't been his fault. But for the part that is his fault, he, he's had a, his hand in a lot of this stuff and he's made it tough for himself. But one thing, one thing that I always hear when it comes to Antonio Brown that people say, oh, man, he's got CTE, CTE. Oh, man, we knew as soon as Vontaze Perfect laid that hit on him, that changed everything. Oh, no. Mm -mm. No. Nah. I, I, I do not think that Antonio Brown has CTE. I feel like that's sort of a, a, a cop out. And I know like a, a lot of um, football fans, it's usually the football fans that say it. I never hear from players, coaches, even media. But it's usually fans that say, oh, CTE, CTE. Somebody says something that they don't like, CTE. Somebody uh, brings up a point that they don't agree with, CTE. Somebody says something that they feel is outlandish, CTE. And it's like such an easy cop out. Oh, since this player took some hits to the head, since he took some blows to the head throughout his career, and now he says something that, oh, it, it may not be the norm to say it. It may not, mean, not may be regular for somebody to say something like this. Oh, CTE. But when you listen to Antonio Brown speak, you can tell that this guy, he's a very smart person. He's a very smart person. He knows how to articulate. Uh, when you hear him speaking and, and he explains his thought process with a lot of matters, it's like, wait, whoa, wait a minute. He's just fine. He's made some very questionable decisions for, for sure. <laughs> Ain't no denying that. But he's just fine. I think what would really help for Antonio Brown moving forward would be something that's very simple that we all need. And that's just the right people in his corner. The right people to let him know, hey, that's not a good look. Or, hey, you should move forward with this. That's it. The right people, because we, we all, everybody needs that big time. We need people to tell us when we messing up. We need people to pull us to the side and be like, um, nah, that's, that is not a wise choice. That's not a good decision. We all need that. And then we also need people to let us know like, oh, hey, this, that's good. Keep doing that. Hey, you keep that up. Because we all need a, a good balance of both discipline and encouragement and you i uh, feel like you you can you can you can have too much of either one because if people just telling you everything you're doing right oh yeah that's good oh yeah great job you'll never think that you can do anything wrong but if you got people telling you what you're doing wrong if they only telling you that then you might be like man i can't do anything right i'm a failure so that's why it's so important that you have a good balance of both. And I feel like a good balance of both would serve Antonio Brown just great. It would do so much for him because I feel like that's what might be missing. I don't know his personal life. I don't know the people that he has in his life. I don't know the people that he has in his corner. But it seems like those people that would do that, that would give him that balance from his actions that we've seen publicly. Because, again, don't know what goes on in his private life, so I can't speak on that. But from what we've seen publicly, it seems like that's what's missing. So, anyway, we'll see how this offseason goes for Antonio Brown. Again, I, I don't expect anything to come to fruition of him wanting to play for the Ravens again. Um, him wanting to play with Lamar Jackson again. Um, I, I'm sure they'll probably work out together this offseason again, like they did a couple years ago in the old post that, that, that just went crazy. Um, but... I don't expect Antonio Brown to come to the Ravens. Anyway, I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. And again, make sure you have people in your corner that are willing to discipline you and tell you, hey, this is what you're doing wrong. 
and also willing to encourage you and make sure that you are that for somebody as well. I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. We out. Shout out to Graven.